speak as sir. It's been a painful experience sitting through this impeachment inquiry. More so as a son who lost a parent at an early age. Mr. Speaker, with a heavy heart, I sat and witnessed the evidence of Senior Joseph Misati taking the bold step of disowning his own son in the view of cameras in the eyes of the Omoguzi people. Mr. Speaker, I cannot overstate the solemnness I feel as I prepare to, to cast my vote on behalf of the people of Nyamira. Mr. Speaker, sir, I've gone through a lot of reflection and second guessing, but I've made the decision, Mr. Speaker, that tonight I stand with the boy child of the Republic of Kenya, Mr. Speaker. Tonight, Mr. Speaker, the one vote that I carry from the county of Nyamira, Mr. Speaker, will be to sympathize with a boy child who has had the misfortune of losing his mother, but who has also been subjected to an episode where he has been disowned by his father in the view of all Kenyans. Tonight, Mr. Speaker, I cast my vote in support, understanding with the many youths who are jobless, but who may never get their job because they are being asked to pay a bribe. Mr. Speaker, tonight I will cast my vote with passion, reason, and without fear, while knowing, Mr. Speaker, that the Constitution that we enacted as the people of Kenya wants Kenyans of integrity, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as I conclude, Mr. Speaker, I hope that the decision that this Senate is going to take will be a moment of reflection for two Kenyans. Mr. Robert Munda, the governor of Kisi, and Joseph Misati, the father of Dennis Misati. As you go back to the hills of Gusi Nation, take a reflection that family is more important than the positions that we hold in this republic. I, I, I close my submissions. Senator Wafula. Mr. Speaker, 